would you would you recommend uh, Salesforce admins and consultants uh, to choose the architect track? And if yes, then why? Absolutely, <laughs> and I think it's because it's a differentiator. It, it's if you look at all the certifications and all the people out there. There's a lot of people as admins, there's a lot of people as consultants, there's a lot of, you know, and if you really, and even when I started, when I was doing, you know, the being in desktop and support engineer, you've got these, you know, tech goes in waves, essentially, and you're getting loads more admins coming in, you're getting loads more consultants coming in, into the platform, which is not a bad thing, it just means you know, if money is your objective or if working for a big consultancy or whatever is a big is an objective of yours, then, you know, taking the the less trodden route is gonna be harder, but potentially more beneficial for you in the long run. So yeah, absolutely. And also just don't be scared of it as well. It's I think for me as well, I always thought of the the CTA as the obviously the pinnacle, the hardest thing in the world, and that all the architect certifications below that were equally as impossible, you know, to do. And I actually didn't do them, thinking, oh, they're just too hard, even though I've been working in the industry for like 10 years or whatever it was up to that point. Uh, and then I took the first one and I'm like, oh, actually, these are not too bad. Next one, next one. I think I did like seven or eight in however many yeah six six seven or them or, or most of them in about a month um but then that's because i've got a lot of experience in the platform already um but yeah i think again what what makes you stick out architect certs ah or oh, everybody else has got you know app builder and stuff like that and oh yeah they've got they understand big data ah they've worked on a project with big data yeah okay this all makes sense and then also you're getting those better opportunities because hey this is a big as me as an architect a big global project big data is involved ah have you got big data experience well you might not have big data experience but you've got big data certification great you know or uh, large data volumes certification great you know i'm going to bring you onto my team so at least i know you've got the theory i suppose Got it. Perfect. And uh, one one more thing that I was get uh, that I have uh, one more thing one more question that I have for you uh, after hearing uh, what you say is about uh, going for the architect route is uh, people think that uh, becoming a technical architect is all about uh, going for the CTA certification. How much of uh, that do you think is uh, right? And if yes, then yeah, I mean, please elaborate. And if no, then please elaborate. Yeah, I. Personally, I've toyed with because I'm not a CTO myself, but I've worked with CTAs all you know day in day out, um, and for me, I think the CTA certification has changed over the years. I suppose and is very Salesforce centric. For me, it's. I, for me, the value is the enterprise architecture, knowing the tools in my toolbox across the globe that could support that Salesforce implementation. So CTA is very valuable for consultancy. So if you want to go work for a consultancy, yep, head for your CTA and get as many certifications as you like, as you can, because they love certifications because it improves their partner um, stats. But for me, wanting to give value for these companies I'm working for, then I want to be learning, you know, Snowflake, AWS, those multi-cloud architectures, understanding how Salesforce fits in a multi-cloud architecture and where I can kind of use elements of AWS or Azure and, and how it all fits together in a jigsaw puzzle because that's what businesses are using. They're not just using everything Salesforce. Um, and so the CTA is very much, well, you know, everything Salesforce to a point, um, which is fine. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's good. But stepping back, looking at enterprise architecture view, I want to know everything else outside because that's what you're going to be connecting Salesforce up to uh, and offloading compute to different things and data and stuff like that. So um, yeah, 